Hello and welcome to another DCSD On Demand video tutorial. This is Liz Walha from the Cantrell Building in Douglas County School District. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the groups that you have made in Moodle to make your grading easier. So if you're a staff developer within Douglas County we ask you to use Moodle um, for your courses and that would involve some grading. If you're a regular teacher within Douglas County who's using Moodle you can also use this grading feature. Obviously you still have to move your grades from there to Infinite Campus but it's nice to have the, the gradebook option for communication with your participants. So I've logged into a course that I'm an author on. I've gone to the administration block and about fourth down I see grades. As you can see when my grading window opens I get a drop down under visible groups of all the different groups that I had showed in a previous video tutorial. When I click on groups it will reload my participants list so that I see just the ones that I want to be grading for that particular group. I click on an assignment that I want to grade. It'll pull up that assignment and then as an instructor I have just a couple of recommendations for how I like to set it up. You may choose to do it differently. But I like to first scroll down to the very bottom. I like to show about 30 submissions per page or however many number of students you have. I don't like to scroll back and forth between pages so I set this to the number of students that I'm likely to have in a course. I also allow quick grading and then I save my preferences. The reason that I do that is that I want to be able to make my comments right on the same page. So for example, let me back this up a little bit. W when a student has turned in work, it's here under the last modified category. I click on that. This is an example of an online text assignment where they talk about what it is that they're going to complete and they include a link. The students include a link. I can go to this link to visit it if I want to and then when I'm done looking at my student work, I close the window. Quick grading enables me to put comments. In this case, since it's a staff development class, I do uh, pass fail on it, but you could have a scale grade as well. And then as soon as I'm done with my comments and the pass fail, I scroll down to the very bottom and I say make sure that send notification emails are on and click save my feedback. That sends out my comments to the people who are participants in my class and it lets them know how they did. Thank you for listening to this tutorial. Again, this is Liz Walhoff from the Cantrell Building in Douglas County School District, and I was showing you how to handle grading and groups in Moodle.